Today we're taking a look at metric capacity and King Henry has returned. Just like before we used a phrase King Henry's daughter makes delicious chocolate milk. Today we're going to change just the middle of the phrase to continue to help us solve. So this phrase for capacity is going to be King Henry's daughter loves delicious chocolate milk. And just like before in the metric system, these number prefixes have stayed the same, but the part that has changed is for loves. It's their building block, so to speak. Loves is for liter. And then everything in the metric system that measures capacity is built from the liters. Decaliters, it takes 10 of those, or it takes 10 liters to make one decaliter takes 10 decaliters to make a hectoliter, 10 hectoliters to make a kiloliter, or we can use this prefix. A kiloliter is made from, kilo means 1,000, 1,000 liters. A hectoliter, hecto meant 100, still does, a hectoliter is made from 100 liters. And so each of these units, same prefix, different ending, since we're measuring capacity, is just like before, built from liters or made from parts of liters. A deciliter would be one-tenth of a liter. A centiliter, one one-hundredth of a liter. A milliliter, one one-thousandth of a liter. We're going to use our letters, first letter of each word from our phrase, King Henry's daughter loves delicious chocolate milk to help us find our equivalents, just like we've done before. So this one, I have zero and three tenths milliliters, and yes, that L is capital. It always is. Zero and three tenths milliliters equals how many milliliters? So I'm going to say my phrase and write the letters. King Henry's daughter loves delicious chocolate milk. Milliliters is their smallest unit, and that's this M right here. And I need to change to liters. So I put the point there for my decimal. Remember their um, measurement system is based on groups of 10, just like our number system. So we're able to use this decimal pattern to help us solve. So here I am at milliliters, and I need to get to liters. One, two, three, put the arrow on the end to help me remember which direction to go. Three moves to the left. So I'm coming to the decimal, and I need to move it three spaces to the left. One, two, three. New decimal needs to be right here. Now notice these two spaces are empty. We cannot do decimal blank blank zero three. So these get filled in with zeros. So I need decimal zero, 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 three, but Remember, we never start with a decimal, so I do need to put the zero here. All right, one more. 249 liters equals something centiliters. Say my phrase. King Henry's daughter loves delicious chocolate milk. This time, the unit that I was given is liters, so I'm going here for my decimal point, and I need to move to centiliters. That's the C. Two moves to the right. Now remember we moved the decimal, if I don't see one, it is at the end, and I need to take it two places to the right. One, two, new decimal here. Well, both of these are empty. Again, they get filled in with zeros. Two, four, nine, zero, zero. I was copying. I need a decimal there, but there's nothing behind it, so I can take that away. And so now all I need is a comma. 24,900 centiliters. Another type of question that we're going to be asked is which capacity is the most reasonable? And you see here I've given you a hint of to get a picture in your mind. A cup of soup. Well, the first thing I think of is a bowl, and a cup is a little bit smaller. So a cup of soup. Is it going to be 200 milliliters or 2 liters? Well, a cup of soup is sort of small. Not too familiar with milliliters, although I do know that medicine droppers often measure in milliliters and they're a very small amount, but there's 200 of them, so maybe. 
But two liters, I know what two liters looks like. That's the bottle of soda at the grocery store. A bottle of soda in a cup of soup? Definitely not this one. So it must be 200 milliliters. What about a soup spoon? Well, a soup spoon, uh, oftentimes at a restaurant, is a little bit rounder at the end than maybe the ones that I have at home. But spoons are still small. So I've got a choice of 10 milliliters or one liter. Again, I know milliliters are small. There would be 10 of them. That could probably fit on a spoon. One liter, well, if two liters is the big um, container of soda at the store, then one liter would be half of that. Definitely not gonna get half a bottle of soda on one spoon. So again, this one is out. It must be 10 milliliters. In your math journal, I'd like you to find the equivalent for these two measures and then think about which capacity would be the most reasonable for these two. A thermos bottle, if you're not familiar with that one, is like what some people take hot chocolate in to maybe a football game or something. Some people have them in their lunch box, but the thermos bottle that I'm thinking of is usually a little bit taller, maybe a little bit skinnier than the one in your lunch box. I wonder if they hold the same amount.